Here we are in Ananda Village, and we're looking at one of the solar arrays that we have now at Ananda Village. We've got about uh, 13 of these arrays serving different parts of the community. Um, in this shot, Jamal and Ty are meeting Elizabeth Rome for the first time, and they're going to um, talk about solar energy. And here's Ted, our director. He's uh, moving everybody around so the shot's framed a little bit more correctly. And they'll go ahead and uh, shoot it again. And then go to okay. Las Vegas, huh? I'm going to say, did you train? Okay. You're going to say oh, all this stuff about Vegas. how batteries are toxic and gotcha. stuff. But then I'm going to say, did you gotcha. train to be an engineer? Thanks. And you're going to say, I was born in Sin City. Right. Went to Yale. Then you'll sort of tell your story there. Okay. okay. And, then, and then where do you want me First to end it? India. This technology is not working. Here's why batteries, batteries are coal gross. power, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Then, blah, blah. Did, you did you train, train to be an engineer? Yale sto life story. Uh, rolling speed. Then, uh, then that should get you into what is your invention? Because your invention was a little hazy in that last Sure, lesson. sure, what sure. Is your, so then I'll, I'll say, what is your invention? Uh, I think that should come out in his story. Hey, Mark. Here we go. Sit. And action. So I've been living in India for the past eight years and we've been installing solar panels all over India to help people there. In fact, the electricity is constantly going out and there's many villagers who don't have electricity at all. That we cannot go to India and feel like it's, there's not a need, like it's not our dharma to want to help people there. In fact, our village there uh, is so primitive. It's like this place was 30 years ago that we know the value of one light bulb or a computer or refrigerator that stays on 24 hours a day. So these solar panels that we're installing though, it's not uh, as perfect as it looks. That in fact, they're still relying on in India and some places here in America, batteries and batteries are toxic. Uh, the chemicals that are in them are not good and hard to dispose of. They're very bulky and heavy and they constantly need to be replaced. And so we are developing a new technology uh, that is based actually, this is fascinating, on yoga and uh, meditation principles. That yoga uh, is the study of subtle energies within our body and a study of magnetism. And so we are inventing uh, invention where you take uh, the electricity made from the sun and you store that energy in a magnet and then to retrieve that there's a special way that we have that I'm not going to tell you about but uh, we take that magnetism back out and we turn it back into energy that works that you can plug your appliance into and so actually I've grown spiritually from having to make this tangible invention that we hope will hope that we, we hope will help the whole world um, but uh, I lost it. But wait, so I have a question. Yeah. So, so you're inventing something that's totally different from the way other people store solar energy. That's absolutely right. That it's based on the fact when uh, electricity uh, goes through a wire, it creates a magnetic field. And so we bring that uh, electricity and we wrap it around a permanent magnet and we store that energy in the permanent magnet. And that is a very new way of storing energy. In fact, energy storage is one of the main problems with solar, the whole solar field all around the world. What's the benefit of, of storing it in a magnet in terms of clean technology? The benefit of storing the uh, energy in a magnet is that magnets, it can be much smaller. Uh, and it can be much cheaper. That solar energy also hasn't taken off in this world because everyone wants to do good in this world, but then when you find out how much that it costs, you maybe later. So <laughs> we're trying to uh, bring that cost down by storing the energy in a magnet. And it's also very efficient. That's uh, another thing, that there's many ways of storing energy, but it has to be efficient. Here we have the reverse angle showing Elizabeth talking and responding to Jamal. Sure, from the sun there are photovoltaic cells and those convert electricity, I'm sorry, those convert the sun into electricity. And that's DC current and then we take in an inverter that DC current and we make it AC current and that is a usable type of current that we use in our house. Mm -hmm. um, but again, the storage is the problem. And so we found a way to store 
that current uh, in a magnet and then take that out as needed. Is that where your inspiration came from to invent something that's not like the solar energy we have in the West because of the need there? That is where the inspiration came from, that we saw that we couldn't do it the same way that we do in the West. But even in the West, we're still, still storing energy in uh, coal and that we need a new way of doing that too. So it's quite fascinating. We're hoping that because of something that was inspired by India, but that we can use it all over the world. Ask him that question about solar energy again, how solar power works. So I know a little bit about solar energy, but not much. Can you explain to me? Obviously, it starts with the sun, but how do you transfer all of that energy? Sure. From the sun, it's hitting photovoltaic cells, which are uh, converting the sunlight into DC current. And we take that DC current and we put it in an inverter, which changes it to AC current, which is the type of power that we use in our house.